Hello friends, Namaskar. What is digital currency? Why I kept this topic for your understanding through this video? The mindset I got from the statement of Honorable Finance Minister of India, wherein she said this year in budget 2022 that India will also have its own digital currency. So we accept it or not, but digital currency is the future of currency transactions. So we as a person who is bound to deal into the currency related transactions for its survival, for its uh, earning related transaction, for payment related transaction should be also understanding that okay, what a digital currency is, what will be the kind of its features, what could be the disadvantages of it and how this is going to take place in India in an initial understanding. So through today's video, I am trying to put up all these points for the benefit of public at large. So let me start my discussion with the point meaning of digital currency. What do we understand by the term digital currency? Yet my dear friends, the kind of uh, understanding which I am doubling, double, developing here is not a official definition, but digital currency is any currency that's available exclusively in electronic form. So it will not be a paper currency at all. A digital currency means which will be available purely and purely in electronic format. So that makes it something significant that it cannot be touched, felt like what we do with a fiat currency. So digital currency will be exclusively and exclusively in electronic form. And let me also develop an understand, understanding that will it be an alternative to the fiat currency? In my opinion, yes, it should be a pure alternative with the similar levels of fiat currency as are prevailing in a country. Now, what could be the various types or forms of digital currency? Mind you, my dear friend, there could be three types of digital currency format. One is cryptocurrency, which is based on blockchain concept. Second is a stable coins. Uh, what is a stable coin? To my little understanding, stable coin means that where there is a cryptocurrency which is backed by certain assets or currency. That can be called to be a stable coin. And the third one and which is the most important one for today's video is central bank digital currency, meaning thereby that the central bank of the relevant country will issue this currency. So this has a complete backing of the central bank. That's why it is one of the most important one out of these three. Now to have some more clarity over the topic, I am further discussing what is CBDC? That is what is central bank digital currency? A central bank digital currency is a digital currency that is issued and overseen by a country's central bank. This is a very, very important point. When we deal into cryptos, we don't know that what is the backing of a particular crypto. Say you talk about Bitcoin, you talk about Ethereum or any other crypto. I'm not saying any positive or negative about them. I'm simply trying to put up that uh, as compared to a crypto, when we go into digital currency, the digital currency will have the backing and which I can say is a strong backing of a country's central bank. So that will give it the possibility of its popularism. Second, a CBDC is virtual money backed and issued by a central bank. As cryptocurrencies and stable coins have become more popular, the world central banks have realized that they need to provide an alternative or let the future of money pass them by. So that is a challenging aspect which central banks of all around the world have felt that cryptocurrencies and stable coins are giving them a challenge. So why not to issue central bank digital currency? In CBDC regime, instead of printing money that is fiat currency, the central bank issues electronic coins or accounts backed by full faith and the credit of the government. So what is very important that there will be a credit of the government as well as that of a central bank that develops a kind of faith in the public at large for getting enabled to deal into central bank digital currency. Now let me also brief you on some work in progress presently going on in the central bank digital currency arena. One, 105 countries which are representing about 95% of global GDP are presently exploring the CBDC issuing option. So this is the future currency, maybe accept it or not, this is going to stay. 10 countries, central banks have already launched their digital currency like uh, uh, Bahamas, then Eastern Caribbean, then Nigeria, Jamaica have already done 
uh, CBDC issued from their side. And China is also strongly working on CBDC. CBDC is aimed to explore alternative international payment system. A very important point, sir, that CBDC has a purpose wherein the alternative international payment system exploring options are also being worked out. Let's discuss what are the motivations for issuing CBDC. That there are certain very important points starting from promoting financial inclusion by providing easy and safer access to money for unbanked and underbanked population. Mind you, my dear friend, financial inclusion is a very important term which is required for the uh, balanced growth of a country under which the financial products, the availability of the banking should be available to its largest chunk of population. In a country like India, still there are areas which are either unbanked or not properly banked. So central bank digital currency is aimed to provide a platform through which these unbanked and underbanked population could also come into the criteria of this or coverage of this financial inclusion. Introducing competition and resilience in the domestic payment market which might need incentive to provide cheaper and better access to the money. So as compared to the fiat currency, you can compare and you can say that, okay, CBDC will probably provide a cheaper and better access to the money. Increasing efficiency in payments and lowering transaction cost. Say, for example, you want to make a big transfer of RTGS, NEFT. It will involve you certain costs. Issuing checks, clearing thereof also involves a manual involvement to an extent sometime, which involves cost. So if all these transaction costs could be cut short, that would mean increasing of the efficiency would probably take place. Creating programmable money and improving transparency in money flows and providing the seamless and easy flow of monetary and fiscal policy. Very important for RBI as well as government of India to see that a seamless and easy flow of monetary and fiscal policy takes place. So these are few motivation points in my opinion which will work for implementation of CBDC even in India. Apart from the features or the benefits, let us also discuss some key challenges for central bank digital currency, maybe for India or even for other countries. It may cause initial risk for the bank because it is yet to be seen that how the people at large react to CBDC and accordingly what will be the functionality of people at large with the banking with respect to this CBDC's flow. Improvement of, uh, sorry, involvement of the operational risk easy, vulnerable to cyber attacks. In a country like India, where still I can say that big population size is neither having the proper education, unfortunate to say so, or even if they are educated, they are not well versed with the technology. If they are not well versed with the technology, this creates the possibility of vulnerability of cyber attacks on the digital currency which will be held in certain electronic format. So this is one challenge. Complex regulatory framework would also probably be there because it is not that easy. The currency is new in format. So the regulatory format or the framework would be tight enough. It may involve national security objectives of a country. See, looking into the money laundering aspect, looking into the cyber attack related aspect, national security sometime could be seen at a stake with reference to the CBDC's practical application. So these are few challenges from the point of view of CBDC. With all these positive and negative points, let's say that, okay, we understood CBDC is going to stay here. That is sent bank digital currency. And what is the name of Indian CBDC? The Indian CBDC, my dear friend, will be known as e-rupee. That is digital rupee. So this will be the sign of Indian central bank direct currency, which is being issued by the Reserve Bank of India. So this is how we will now know that okay, e-rupee is going to be digital rupee which will be termed as Indian Central Bank Digital Currency. Has RBI issued any concept note on Central Bank Digital Currency? I know some of you may be curious and they would be interested in knowing that okay Mr. Bhatia, since CBDC as you are continuously saying is going to stay in India, so whether the Reserve Bank of India has issued any concept note on the central bank digital currency? The answer to this question is affirmative 
RBI, while its report dated 7th of October 2022, issued a concept note on CBDC, which explains the objective choices, benefits, and risk of issuing central bank digital currency in India. So it's good to know that okay, RBI is also concerned, and in the nearmost past, that is on 7th of October 2022, they have issued a concept note for the benefit of public at large. This note explains two key important points. One. to create a digital rupee that is as close as possible to a paper currency and to manage the process of introducing digital rupee in a seamless manner so these are two key points which are in the mind of rbi while it was issuing the concept note on central bank digital currency in india now one very very important question whether cbdc or e rupee has already been launched in india or it is yet to be launched so to our knowledge we may understand that reserve bank of india in the recent past only on 3rd of november 2022 launched india's first digital rupee pilot project for the wholesale segment e rupee w project so w is for wholesale so reserve bank of india has already on last 3rd november 2022 launched india's first digital rupee pilot project and to uh say that when this digital rupee will also be launched in the retail segment i can say that the retail pilot project is also proposed to be launched soon so reserve bank of india uh, has also said that okay in the near future we are going to launch a retail pilot project so it may take some time to e rupee get established that is this digital rupee get established for uh, average persons transactions for a common persons transaction but this is very sure appearing from these understandings from these statements which i am reading here that yes digital rupee is here to stay and here to get launched so at the end my dear friends i would say that yes there are certain threats involved in the successful implementation of cbdc but in the present e age nobody can escape the implementation of cbdc later or sooner every country will come on the cbdc platform as the recent few years wherein you have seen cryptocurrencies have been challenging the world economy so unless the central banks of various countries come on the front of issuing central bank digital currency they may not be able to stop people at large from dealing into cryptos and all other such platform so therefore in the near future as and when in india in the retail segment there will be a launch of digital rupee and if any information updation would be required on that front also i will try to come again before you with that kind of points with that kind of learning even so thank you today for this listening to me very patiently thank you very much my dear friends wishing you all the best jai hind